Hey guys, today I want to talk about 10 unpopular art opinions. The first art opinion is art hops slash art fairs aren't about art. This is a topic I could go on about forever. If you're an art vendor, you may or may not have a better art community. Some art communities seem to be strictly about milking every inch of their space with non-creators, non-craftsmen, and non-artists. I've had these conversations with fellow artists recently about how commercial and corporate my local art hops and art fairs, quote unquote art fairs, have become. It's not about art anymore. It's about whoever wants to pay that ridiculous amount of money for your tiny 10 by 10 space. You sell sticker packs you bought on Amazon and have $35? Come on down. Money driven promotions that have no passion about art or the art community have ruined some art fairs and communities. A lot of artists are so desperate to share their passion and sell their art they work so hard on and would pay anything to get a spot to show their art. Unfortunately, it's at a place where maybe most of those patrons aren't interested in the art so much. They're there to have a drink and look at you like people look at animals at the zoo. You're a passerby attraction at a lot of these events where it's not about the art. It's about putting money in the pockets of promoters and businesses is giving you space that doesn't provide you with any real value. It's not a good give and take, you know? I believe you have to find a place or business that has the crowd and audience that genuinely cares about the arts. If you see a lot of vendors that aren't creators or craftsmen, it's all about filling the promoter's pockets. Don't pay them for a space that won't provide you with equal value. You don't need to draw well to do art. Okay, now this may be true, but if you're doing this to make money or, you know, do a certain style, you do well to not skip the process of getting better at your craft. I feel some beginner artists buy into this because a lot of people will regurgitate this sentiment a lot. <laughs> you see it all over the place, how it's not about competition. Uh, and I just believe it's really not helping anyone out. It's ultimately up to you how you approach your growth and non-growth, but taking the I'm just going to do it my way and I'm good enough is not the approach of valuing your craft or your personal growth. Just an opinion. You do need to draw to do art. Again, this is the inverse of the last opinion and obviously this one upsets a lot of people and I don't know why. As we know, the fine art world takes all types of artists of all skill levels even dare I say it, low skill artists. They aren't even creative artists, but they happened on something different that some curator says is good. So now they're a gallery artist. Yes, art doesn't have to be pretty or creative, but don't count on that luck of a curator just happening to love your low skill, low creativity work. Not knocking, you know, some artists, but that is just what it, a lot of people believe. Again, art doesn't have to be high, creativity it doesn't have to be high skill but again you are betting on the that luck that chance i think you would do yourself better to at least get uh, better at your craft art doesn't need to be competitive Again, another opinion I totally understand but wholeheartedly disagree with living in the real world. Art and generally everything in life is competitive in an organic way. It becomes competitive because say you're an artist, well there are thousands and thousands of other artists that might do a type of art that's similar. So through no fault of your own, even your potential customers or patrons are sizing you and other artists up all the time. They're comparing you at every second. You can want art to not be competitive and you can do your best to not be actively competitive yourself. But just know regardless of your attempts, it is a competition you're taking part of and someone else has already signed you up. If competition isn't for you, at the very least be diligent and take care in doing your personal best on your artwork or your craft. You don't need to be creative to be an artist. In the fine art world and with portraiture, this can ring true, but even those types of artists can add a little something that makes it their own. Maybe it's the exaggeration of colors or shapes, dynamics that they use in their work. That in itself is an active choice in creativity, however limited it might be to you. I do believe it takes a little creativity to be an artist, but not necessarily so. So I don't really agree that you need to be creative to be an artist, but I think it helps. Artists should never do art for free. This is mostly true for me. I never do art for free, but if I know someone who has maybe had someone pass within my immediate friends or family, I might offer to draw or paint their portrait for them. I do believe businesses or art competitions are milking artists 
for free labor. Uh, they get to get a lot of free artwork done to find that one piece that only one artist will recoup anything back from their time and hard work and effort. I think that's wrong and a lot of places are doing this more and more and dressing it up as opportunity or fun. It's not. It's free labor you're giving them. Let's try and stop doing this artist please. You don't need to go to art school. Okay guys, I've already gone over this uh, several times. You know what I feel about this. Of course, it isn't necessary to go to art school, but if you're not one to self-motivate or you prefer a mentor and to be surrounded by your peers in a community, then yeah, art school is definitely for you, but never has it been necessary. I'll keep it short and sweet and stop there. You should always be your worst critic. Some might disagree with this, but I wholeheartedly agree with it. If you can't handle criticism of any kind, whether it be constructive or not, you won't get too far, or at least will hate this art game because in the beginning, you will get hate and you will get criticized, like pretty hardcore. You might as well be your own worst critic. I know a couple of artists, myself included, who thinks way too much of their work, and it's something that can really hinder your growth. Always look at your own art as critically as possible at all times and at every piece. You'll grow so much faster because of it. You can learn how to get better at your art from reading books and YouTube. I've I, I posted uh, my books one time on Instagram and uh, I was called um, Scott Robertson's How to Draw and How to Render Books, um, The Art Bibles. And I, I still believe that is uh, that is just fact, that is just the truth, because they are so filled with great fundamental knowledge. I mean, Scott Robertson, I believe he still works at, uh, he still teaches at one of the most prestigious like art schools in, in probably the world i don't know if that's even arguable it, at art center and he, he has worked in the industry and he does great work and he knows his fundamentals and i just thought it was one of the best books i mean after i read that book my work went from you know a, a, you know, from zero to just it just it went it, it improved so much after just reading those two books and i got and i understood I understood a lot more of how light worked and uh, also looking at other artists YouTube videos I mean why do, why do artists have YouTube videos why do they show you these things oh they don't work oh you can't learn it and I, I get it like doing art yes you have to actively do art yes you have to apply your studies you have to apply what you learned in that YouTube video you have to apply what you read in that book and then you demystify it by doing it yourself right but it is a fact that you can learn how to get better at your art from reading art books and YouTube uh, art videos. That's just a fact. Like some people, I don't know what it is. They just have a thing about you're not going to learn it that way, or you need you know mentor with this and that. It's just it's just wrong. It's just true. I'm very 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 passionately about this because that's also how I learn. Just straight up, you know, the cut and dry. That is how. I learned again also by applying and doing art as well so yeah that that shouldn't be a hot topic that is actually a fact you can learn from that you know what I mean if you have another way of learning uh, go ahead by all means so our last art opinion is you don't need a mentor this I wholeheartedly agree on now here's why I, I do kind of feel um, lukewarm on how much I agree with it because uh, like we were talking about with the you don't need art school some people need that push some people need that drive some people need someone else uh, critiquing them at all times they need that validation at every step you know they need, they need to be like you know you know they have someone watching over their shoulder and like looking back you know you're looking back at them like am I doing it right Am I doing all right? Like this? Oh, you mean this way? You know, you know, it's it's one of those things where you, they always need that push, that drive. They need to talk to their peers or maybe their their fellow students. Uh, you know, the people that they have a, their, you know, they have in their class. They need that constant. You know, we're all a team. We're all doing this together. That camaraderie. But if you don't need that, no, you don't need a mentor. If you don't need someone pushing you and you have that drive, it's just like with the art school. You don't need a mentor. Now, can you? Uh, you know, can you learn faster with a mentor? I, I, I think so. I think so. But here is also the downside of having a mentor. And it's having a mentor that doesn't have your best interests at hand. They don't 
care about your growth just because someone's a mentor just because someone's a teacher just because someone's a professor whatever it is just because they've even done it before does not mean that they care about your growth so you should always be the person that's going to care about your art and your growth and your craft the most you're the person that should value your own work your your mentors are never going to care about your 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 work that much and if they do great that's fine you you you're one of those people that found the, the needle in the haystack mentors you know what i mean i and again I, i'm pretty sure there are thousands of them but i'm just saying i i doubt they're going to care about your growth as much as you do so that's why i don't think it's necessary to have a mentor if you do have that drive or at least if you want to start out with a mentor and then obviously go on your own because that's what every artist or every person does but I, I i do not think it's necessary to have a mentor and it really depends on that question of whether that mentor uh, even cares at all about your growth or are they just getting a paycheck all right guys well i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any ideas uh, i'm always looking for new ideas go ahead and drop them down in the comments below and i will see you guys next time